What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Shalithia Trinae and I'm back with another video. So in today's video, you guys, we are going to be doing my makeup. But I am going to be reviewing a couple of foundations. I'm sorry, not foundations. I am going to be reviewing a couple of concealers that I just recently bought that I absolutely love and I hope that you guys like them too. Before we jump into this video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to keep me motivated to upload more videos, you guys, because your girl has been struggling, but we will talk about that another day. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So the first thing that I like to do before I do my foundation is I like to go in with this Eye Balm by Lancome. This is what I like to go in with. It is a little bit on the expensive side. I was recommended this when I was watching one of Jackie Anna's videos and I absolutely love it. And what I'll do is I'll just take very little, I'll put it on the back of my hand, just about that much, you guys, not really anything big or special. Like the texture of it is just phenomenal. And I'll just go and I'll just put some of this under my eye area. I just gently rub it in and then occasionally I pat, right? And it's just, it makes so much of a difference. I feel like it helps tremendously with putting on my liquid concealers and having them go on so, you know, smoothly and not crease so much. And so I just put that underneath my eye and there she goes. And now that that's on, we're just gonna let it dry for a little bit and I'm going to put my phone on silent because it just keeps going off. Okay, so moving on. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by doing my foundation because um, I don't like to put on concealer first. Uh, most people, you know, some people do put their concealer on first, but not this girl. I am going to be using the L'Oreal True Match. It is the summertime, you guys, so your girl is in between shades. And so I am mixing my two favorites, C8 and N8. This is Coco and this is Cappuccino. C8 is Coco and N8 is Cappuccino. If you guys can see that there, these are the two shades that I will be using. All right, so now that I have my foundation on, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the four concealers that I will be showing you guys today. So they are Amande by NARS. It's actually a really, really good concealer color on me. This one is a little bit lighter than Amande. This is Walnut, also by NARS. Looks the same, but as you can see, they are not exactly the same shade. Walnut is a bit lighter. The next two concealers that I will be reviewing are, this is Caramel by NARS. I love this one as well. I don't use it as much, so I got a very smaller one. And then also, Coco by NARS, which is also very smaller because I don't use it as much either. Um, in side-by-side -side comparison of the two, you can see that Coco is a lot darker. All right, you guys. So I have my eyebrows somewhat complete. I'm gonna show you guys what I do. So for my brows, I don't like to do too much of a very very bright highlight underneath my brows and so I'm going to go in with the shade that is closest to my complexion and my foundation and that is the Amande from NARS. So I showed you guys this one earlier. I'm going to work with these two concealers. The ones that I showed you guys that look just alike almost. So this one is Amande. This one is closer to my complexion than all of the other concealers that I have. And then this one is Walnut, and this one is just a little bit lighter, but you know, when you are highlighting underneath your eyes, that is what you want. So this is the one that I use the most for underneath my eyes, but when it comes down to my eyebrows, this is the one that I use because I like for my eyebrows to look as natural as possible most of the time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in underneath my brows with Amande. Um, like I said, the color that is closest to my complexion and go ahead and shape my brows up a little bit more. 
and you guys when you are putting on this concealer because it a little will take you a very long way you don't want to go and like drag it out because you're gonna have so much product like even from me putting these little dots right here I still may have a lot of product and that is not what you want because it's not cheap okay and then you just don't want it to look you know crazy when you are blending it out nobody wants to blend out their eyebrows for like ever okay nobody wants to do that so I just go in and I just put little dots like like literally like gently tapping dots underneath my eyebrows and then what I would do is since this is so close to my natural complexion and my foundation color I will put this same color on top of my brow so I'm gonna go in like I said very very lightly tapping da 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 just like that okay Ooh, that was too light let me get another another jab at it and that's how that is now it ain't gotta be perfect Ain't nobody say it had to be perfect. Ain't nobody say all of that. Okay. So, I'm going to go in with a little brush and blend this in. This is what it looks like with my brows concealed. And again, I used Amande. Amande by NARS. I will have this link down below in the description box. So now we're gonna go into concealing underneath my eyes. So I am going to go in with the color Walnut on this side of my face so that you guys can see how this looks on my complexion. And what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna put a little bit a little little triangle right here right I'm gonna make it a pretty triangle right there and I'm gonna also put a little bit right here and I do it in the upward motion because you want your concealer to look happy you want your face to look up and happy not down and droopy and so when I blend it in I'm also gonna blend it in that same exact way now that's the color I'm going with on this side. Now I'm gonna go in with caramel. But see, the thing is, you guys, with caramel, I don't use it that much. I'm gonna tell you, I actually have to go in with a Monday because I have to show you what I do with caramel, right? But you guys will get to see it on my skin. You just will get to see how I use it because it is very, very lighter and I don't like to use it as full coverage concealer underneath my eye. So this side is walnut and I'm gonna let that just dry a little bit. The thing with concealers that are of a wet consistency like that, you might wanna let it dry. It helps to not let it crease like that way either. It's so much better when you put it on and just let it sit for a little bit. So there is no rush when putting on liquid concealer. All right, so I'm gonna go in with a Monday and what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna start from over here and I'm gonna do that upward a little upward uh, motion I was telling you guys with that I do with a Monde, all right? And I am gonna put a little bit, just a tad, right there, just like that, all right? So with caramel, the smaller one here, I'm going to put this in the corner, right there, of my eye, not necessarily over the Amande but like right next to it like literally can you guys see that right next to it okay and I'm also gonna go in the middle here and I'm like right underneath my eye line you guys and I'm just gonna put a little bit of that right there okay so I'm mixing the two but I don't put them directly on top of each other when I'm placing them all right let me explain the method behind my madness, okay? So I already explained to you guys why I put my concealer on in the way that I do, in the little triangle right here, and then going up. So on this side, I mix the two because walnut, is that walnut? Caramel, I keep calling it walnut, I'm sorry guys. Caramel, the little small one, 
very much lighter than my natural complexion, okay? And I will look like a ghost if I use solely this concealer as full coverage underneath my eye. So I have to go in and mix it with Amande. The reason why I got it, because a lot of you guys may be wondering, why did you get a much lighter concealer if you're not even gonna use it that much? It's not even the same color as your complexion, right? Why would I do that? Waste some money, right? No, because I absolutely love the pop it gives my eyes, okay? So if I am just tired that day or I wanna beat my face, okay? I want that pop of color. You guys know how um, when we were younger, back in the day, we used to get white eyeshadow and put it in the corner of our eye right here just to make it pop. I still do that, y'all. I still do that. But that's exactly what you're doing. You're just doing it with your concealer this time. You just want that pop of color, okay? That is why I do it. And I like to blend my concealer with a brush. Dare I even say it? with a brush okay i love blending my concealer with a brush most people will tell you to get that beauty blender i am a brush type of girl and i will finish off with a beauty blender and also will go in with my setting powder with a beauty blender however it is not my first makeup tool that i reach for it's just not. but you guys are going to see how i um blend this in okay so i like to pat Pat, pat, and I'm patting in that upward motion. Pat, pat, pat. I'm patting in that upward motion. Do you guys see that? You guys see that? See that? Yeah, she looks wide awake. It's very important to pat in that upward motion, you guys, because like I said, we like happy faces over here. Look at how awake she looks. Look at that. Look at that, you guys. I actually think this side looks so much better with the pop um, than this side. But like I said, more natural looking makeup over here. Um, and then the pop is for when you want to do like full face beats, okay? Period. So that's what that, that pop does. I absolutely love this. I love this too, but this is given. This is given what it's supposed to give. All right, so I'm gonna go in with my Sasha Buttercup uh, setting powder, and you guys are no stranger to this on my channel. I did a whole video on comparing the two of Sasha Buttercup and my Laura Mercier. The battle of the two setting powders. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go in and set underneath my eye with that. So I'm gonna go in with that same beauty blender. She look crazy. <laughs> All right, so now that she is set, she is looking crazy. I'm gonna go in and do my concealer on in my T-zone area and for this one I like to go in with da, 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 my walnut okay the one that I use on this side of my face so I'm just going to dab a little bit down the nose I'm gonna dab a little bit on my cupid's bow and I'm going to put a little bit on my chin just like that just like so now I'm also gonna put some on my forehead why is she being stingy today um, right here in the little this little part whatever it's called <laughs> between my eyebrows but above them okay so that's where I'm going to put that at and again I'm going to go in with my brush and I'm going to blend that All that powder y'all <laughs> all right so I'm gonna use my handy dandy 
brush, big brush, big fluffy brush, whatever you girls call this. Comment down below and let me know what you guys call this brush. Because I don't know. I just call it my big fluffy brush. And what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to dust off. Mm -hmm. Just like that. That excess of uh, powder that I put on my face. Okay. So, the last concealer that I'm going to show you guys. Because first of all, let's just look at this. First of all, let's just look at this. Like, walnut is giving. It's giving. Do y'all see that? Like, do y'all see how, like, she's not creasing. She's not creasing. Do y'all see that? And then over here, Miss Pop. She's not creasing. She's not creasing. Period, poo. That's why I love NARS. That's why I mess with them. So anyway, we're gonna go in with Coco. Coco from NARS. And she's a little bit on the darker side, but let me tell you guys what I use her for. I use her to help with my contour. That's it. That's all. I use her to help with my contour. No. You guys know I love my Fenty Matchstick. This is my favorite contour. I started out with her. I'm always right with her. She never fails. She never fails. I love her. I actually need to re-up on her because she not going up no more. See? She not going up no more than that. That's all I got left. That's it. That's all. So, I'm just going to quickly do a little contour and show you guys how I use Miss Coco. So Miss Coco helps me with contouring. And what I do is I just put her right above, right above. I don't know why this makes so much of a difference, but it does, it does. Okay, I put her right above, right in between, right in between. And you can just put her anywhere down here because it's just, it's just a little jawline there. And so I get my contour brush. I have officially declared this as my contour brush. It's just my contour brush. Okay. That's it. And so what I do is I just blend it all together when I'm contouring y'all. Watch how this turn out. Watch. Do y'all see that? She not even blended all the way. But I think what it is, the reason why I like it so much is because it's like putting on contour and then putting on some type of like foundation or powder over that contour so it doesn't look so dramatic, it doesn't look so drastic. You can just tell that the contour is there and it makes it look more natural on you. I think that's why I like it because that concealer over it just like seals the deal, y'all. It seals it. I don't know, you guys. Let me know down below in the comments if you've tried this before and you like it or if I just put you on game. Because if I did, drop some flowers down below because give, you, give your girl her flowers while she's still here. Give me here. I love this, y'all. It's giving Cynthia Cheekbone Bailey. I love it, y'all. This is just, this is why, this, see? This is why we do tutorials. So you guys can see the live action of why this concealer is everything. So this is what we have, you guys. This is what we're working with. Do you guys see much of a difference? I absolutely do. I see the pop, you know, the concealer is starting right there in the corner of my eye and it just makes me look so much more awake. There is no bag, like there is no bag underneath my eye. This side is a little bit more natural looking. Um, you definitely can see a little bit of a bag, but not nearly as much. Like this side is very smooth, it's crisp, it's just wide awake. And then this side is like, hey, I'm here. I made it, I look cute, I know. This is just, you know, I gotta run to the store real quick. But nonetheless, I absolutely like 
either side and let's not forget this contour with this cocoa so i really hope you guys found this video to be helpful as always be sure to hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell and give this video a thumbs up so that i can know that you guys want to see more from me because how else would i know she don't know she can't read minds thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video Bye. Bye.